Hello, farmers. Welcome back to the Pacific Northwest. Still in the nighttime. And I got the John Deere over here at Field 33 for a fertilizing contract. Hire some helper. Um, yeah, I can spread manure as a fertilizer on a contract. And we got plenty of it. It's free. I am thinking we're getting paid 20 grand for this. Where am I here? 20 grand, is it? Uh, 20 grand. Uh, we're still doing the harvest in Field 35 for sugar beet at 43%. Um... Yeah, I was in this to make sure that the manure is being taken from the cow, slurry from the barn. Uh, I've been selling the digestate from the BGA, selling some wood chips. I'm up to $264,000, and I need to go empty out my sugar beet harvester. Uh, yeah, we're getting along here. I don't think I'm going to finish this tonight. At some point here, it's just, you just got to say, well, it's time to advance time and get to morning. Uh, but I do want to finish selling the digestate, which I got one more trip. It's like 20,000 liters or so. And uh, I got tons of wood chips I can still sell. I may not sell all those today either. But I did want to bring you back for um, selling. Uh, not selling, but uh, paying off some of the loan at midnight here. Because it's going to be a, probably almost like 200 grand, I think, is what we're going to pay off. Uh, midnight's going to be nice because we are going to get some cash from the BGA. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I was looking at the market. The market for our stuff, uh, the meat, I guess we can go sell some of the meat. We might do that. Uh, the sugar price is dropping, which is, eh, okay, I, I can deal with that. And the bread price is not the greatest right now either. Uh, it's not bad, but uh, is it worth selling? I don't know. So digestate, we're, we're pretty much empty on that. The wood chips, I still got plenty of those. Uh, as for the milk, the milk price stopped at 1632 uh, the, the wool price is still going up. Uh, the egg price was still staying at 29. Wait to see what that does. Uh, the cotton price, uh, I think that stopped at yeah, that stopped at 18.93, which is not too bad. We got tons of that I could sell. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes along here in a little while. Uh, I thought about just going through the night, paying off the loan, and then bringing it back and starting off by selling some stuff in the morning. Uh, we're gonna be doing the pigs probably in the morning. Well, not probably. We will be doing the pigs in the morning, uh, taking them to the market to sell. So, you know, I figured come back, uh, start the episode in the evening hours, we'll pay off some of that loan, and uh, then work our way into the morning. Uh, probably still won't get to the sunflowers either, uh, this episode. It's pretty much going to be like a still another selling episode, and uh, just fiddling around. As for the global company signs I was looking at, so apparently they're not really, they're not like the silo um uh, signs to where you put it next to a silo and poof you can see what's inside each silo I guess those signs are just there and you can write in any text you want kind of like I did uh, So it doesn't really show you the total I saw a couple YouTube videos and That's pretty much what they're showing as well That it's only there to put down so they can put a sign there like uh, this goes here that goes there I guess you could also put the sign down anywhere like, I could put uh, a sign down here, and by each door, I could put one of those signs. They could tell me what's in each si side of each door. Or I could put a sign at my farm saying, welcome to the farm, or, you know, that kind of a thing. I think that's what it's... I, I mean, I don't know if that's what they intended to be, but that's the way everyone seems to be showing it. I saw three different videos. They're pretty much all showing the same thing. So, uh, I was taking it as driving way too fast. Uh, but <laughs> I was taking it as... Put it down at the uh, uh, global company factory and it'll show you the stats of the factory instead of having to go in and read the page. So uh, I'm just going to leave it for now in case uh, I'll check on some more videos later on if I can find any. But that's all I can find so far with three videos on it. Oh yeah, by the way, that mod there is only for PC and Mac only. Uh, it's not for console players at this time. Hey, 43% done. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's one of those contracts uh, like most of the contracts you take like that pays a lot of money it's like is it worth it and you're like ah I can it won't take me that long it's going to take time but it won't take me that long and you just you just grind away at the project and you realize uh, it's taking longer and longer and longer we'll get it done though it's a hundred grand that we're getting paid for it and plus I'll probably get like a trailer or two I don't know maybe three trailers worth of sugar beet out of there and they can make some sugar out of it all that good stuff uh, looks like our grass field might be ready for mowing in the next in game day as well, which is good. Looks like I can make some silage and sell the silage at the barn. 
yeah, I'm pretty much uh, starting this episode where we left off last one uh, as to transporting sugar beet, uh, selling some digestate, and selling some wood chips. But we are just done, just about done with the digestate, which means I can take that Volvo truck, uh, unload the tanker somewhere, and grab our flatbed. And I think we'll grab the meat and sell the meat. I got plenty of meat over there. Uh, meat tends to lag us down a little bit over there as well, so I like to go ahead and sell that. And of course, I like to get the, the cash. I want to pay off, I would like to pay off a quarter of a million dollars off the loan, but I don't think that's, well, no, no well, yeah, we can do that. That's only, I only need another hundred grand. That's not a problem. That is not a problem. Because we're going to get money from the contract and um, all the meat that we're going to be selling. So this will be the last trip for Digestate. Yeah, I'm glad I bought this truck a couple episodes ago. It's just helping us out in situations like this where I'm doing a contract and then I need it for something else. Uh, it was always frustrating, like, oh yeah, well, I, I need the truck for this, I need the truck for that. It's like, nope, can't use it. I'm using it for something else. Uh, part of me says I might be able to use three trucks, but no, I, I'm, I'm only one person here. I'm only one person. But the contract in field 33 was good when it came along. I said, okay, I never really checked that. Can I spread manure down? And the contract said, yes. Y yes, you can. Uh, so I was like, well, I'll use a John Deere just in case the crops grow. Because I don't know if you can do crop destruction in a contracting field. I want to say you can't. But then again, you might be able to. I don't know. But either way, we got the row crop tires on the John Deere. Uh, there's no row crop tires on the spreader, but I think, uh, I think he'll be just fine. So I get 20 grand from that, plus I get to use up some of our manure that the cows have, and we got plenty of it. Plenty, plenty, plenty. So I've been getting like $7,000 per tank, tanker load of digestate. Of course, this is, uh, not even a half a tank. So I might just get like three grand here. And the wood chips, I've been getting about the same amount of cash. For 45,000 liters of wood chips, I'm still get, I'm getting like seven grand for that as well. So that's all the cow slurry um, brought to the BGA. I don't think it's all processed. It might be. But that's all of our digestate that we had. And that's all processed and sold. So let's go ahead and we'll dump the tanker off somewhere right now. I don't know where, but we'll find some place. Uh, there's been some few accidents with the traffic around here. Uh, especially back at that intersection where I just came out. They tend to T-bone each other once in a while. I never see it. I just I just come around the corner and see all the brake lights. I'm like, what's with all the brake lights? And then I realize, oh, there's an accident happening here. How interesting. Alright, so I think everything's good here for now. Uh, I think the flatbed is going to be over at the factories. I mean, that's where I think it should be. Uh, is it over there? I don't know. Uh, but we're going to go grab all of our processed meat and bring over to the bakery. And hopefully I have a full trailer load, which I think I might have. But let's go load it up and we'll find out. I realized on my way over here that I left it over at the sugar factory to load up our pallets. And what I am going to do is get some of these sugar pallets out of here and we'll unload them over by our greenhouses. Alright, let's put the HUD up and I should just be able to turn it on. And I just need to grab a few more pallets, maybe. There we go. Let's go unload these. What we usually do, and then I can go grab our processed meat. I'm trying to be careful how I phrase uh, how we go grab the processed meat. Uh, <laughs> um, nope, I did that wrong. There we go. Now we can unload it. There we go. And our root crop harvester is 80% full. There's a shocker. Let's go get a good chunk of change here. First things first, I got to drive over the ramp at night time, so... Um, can I get on it good enough without the trailer getting stuck somewhere? Uh, the answer might be no. 
Yep, I should have went to the field, but I didn't. Alright. I knew I shouldn't have done that, and I did anyways. Uh, no problem. When all else fails, you just, you know, go pick up your 51-foot-long trailer. Grab it and uh, pull over the fence. Can I get around this corner? I can. Let's go ahead and turn this on here. Load up all these. Uh, you know what? I think I'll... How much are the grapes going for? Because I got so many grapes now. I'm piling them up at the uh, beverage area for wine. Is it this one here? Yeah, they're not going for much. But I'll tell you what, since I'm driving past here, just pick up what I can. I'm getting greedy for the money today. So really, these global company display boards, um, if that's all you can really do is actually just put te any kind of text you want in them, then that's fine. And I'm lagging so bad, I can't even turn. Yikes. Uh, I thought I was going to go into the river. I couldn't turn, so I, I started to turn. And then when the game realized I was turning, it almost made me go into the river. Yep, the Pepsi factory and meat crates. Uh, probably not a great combo to have going through there, but we managed. And then once we start to get out of the area, it all clears up. Alright, so let's go to the bakery at, uh, let's see, what's 9.30 at night? So not a full trailer of meat, so... Ooh, and I got a little bit of grapes on here. Just trying to do a rough calculation of what I think I should have on here. So probably like 60... Uh, let's just go with um, 65 grand, maybe, is what we have on here. That's what I want to guess, 65 grand. You're going to run into me, aren't you? Thank you. Thank you. And then honk your horn at me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because it was my fault. That's why sometimes you just want to turn the traffic off. Let's go ahead and unload that. on his the trailer, so it unloads really fast. I said 65,000. Am I close? Uh, 63.9. 63.947. Let's grab the trailer. So I don't think I have anything else I want to sell. Uh, the Pepsi price is going down, so we just sold the meat. Uh, like I said, the sugar price, I could probably sell some of that. It, it's still nine eighty seven. Um, yeah, why not? Let's go get the sugar. I mean, that is not really a bad price. Uh, let's go get that because uh, we did have a full trailer, and it's not like I'm not. I can't make more sugar pallets, right? Uh, <laughs> we're gonna have sugar beet coming out of every place possible after we do this contract plus our field as well hopefully we can back up this time before another car comes along nice uh so 77,000 sounds about good I'll take 77,000 dollars right now unload that on his trailer and you're not going to sell the last two huh all right, so there's 70,000. Well, uh, how about $77,894? My math is pretty spot on tonight. Um, yeah, so I think that takes care of selling all the stuff from the factories today, or this evening. 400 grand, that means I can pay 300 grand off the loan. That is sweet. Uh, plus, I got more wood chips to sell. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, sell some more wood chips. I'm going to take care of the root crop harvester. Uh, this truck, you know what, can you, you can just park here for now. Um, uh, I'll find something for you later on. I'll turn you off completely. I'm happy with the amount of money I have right now. We're going to get more from the contract. Uh, yeah, so let me go ahead. Uh, I'll do a little bit more of the root crop harvest, maybe a couple of trail loads. Uh, I'll sell some more wood chips. Like I said, I kind of... I think I got like um, 200,000 liters of wood chips left. 
So that's like four trailer loads. I might get like another 28 grand from the wood chips. Uh, we'll get 20 grand from that contract. So ooh, that'll bring us up to 450. That means I can pay $350,000 off the loan. Yeah, you're doing the math along with me, right? Uh, anyways, I'll see you in just a little bit. With the contract with the John Deere and the manure spreader done, I collected that 20 grand. And uh, this is the last trailer I got for wood chips for a while. I only have like 11,000 liters of wood left to chip as well. We are about halfway through the sugar beet harvest, so yeah, that's not going to be done tonight. Um, but we're getting ready here to call it a night. I'll log into the bank account and pay off the $350,000. Uh, that'll give us like a hundred and this will give us like a hundred and some odd thousand dollars to fool around with. Uh, that should pay off the loan interest at midnight. Uh, but when midnight comes, I don't know how much slurry I sold at the BGA. So I don't know how much money I'll get from there. Uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure when the morning comes, uh, we'll have more than enough. And plus when morning comes, we'll be going ahead and selling off. Oh, uh, what is that? We sell off 164 pigs. So that's $164,000 right into our bank account to start the day. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's it's always good when you start off the day uh, collecting that much cash right off. But with that being said, uh, the last thing I'm going to do before I log into my bank account, as we just saw, the root crop harvester is, well, it's, it's just about full one more time. So I'm going to empty him on out. Um... And then I'm going to go pay off $350,000 on the bank account. Um, actually, I don't know why I'm bringing this back here. I'm done collecting the wood chips for now. And I'm going to need this for sunflower seed uh, when we go harvest. So let's just take a quick look at our finances. So we'll be below $36 million in uh, loan interest. Uh, well, not loan interest. <laughs> loan, that is. Um, and I, I'm guessing how much I'm going to pay off. I might get the loan to uh, under $101,000 at midnight. Anywho, uh, let me go ahead. I'm going to take care of the root crop harvester. I'll pay off for a loan. We'll come back, uh, show you some stats, and we'll, we'll take a quick nap. We'll wake up in the morning. That's not the button I want to hit. Uh, wake up in the morning, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go probably sell some pigs. Well, I think 10 o'clock at night is a good time to call it quits. I uh, took care of the bank funding. <laughs> we are down to 114000 And if we go in here, our loan now is down to 357 Five five million. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep until seven. So that'd be a good nine hours. I could use a good nine hours of sleep after a long day's work on the farm. Um, so how is our loan? Our loan's down to one hundred thousand four hundred thirty-five. So close. We almost got forty. Uh, it's going to be thirty-eight thousand from the BGA. So we start the morning at sixty thousand dollars, which is pretty darn sweet. Um, great demand at the garden center. If it's for digestate, I will. Um, no, it looks like, no, it's, no, it's Timberline Flour Mill. Um, where is it? Garden Center. Garden Center. Uh, yeah, for Digest Day. Of course it is. Uh, <laughs> 137. We, we, we're selling it for 101. Uh, you know, it's, it's, I, whatever. Uh, it's fine. Um, Pepsi. No, nah, that's a no-go. Uh, sugar this morning. Nope. How about the bread? Uh, the bread is not that well off either. Uh, that is fine. Um, hopefully we'll get a great demand for something else later on. Um, how is the milk doing? 1632. Uh, the wool is 11. Uh, that's not too bad. Uh, the egg price is coming way down. So maybe that price at 2900 was probably the best price. Um, the cotton price is coming down now as well. All right. So we're learning on those things. Uh, but meanwhile, the first thing I need to do this morning is probably... Uh, the pigs, uh, 457 pigs. We're going to go ahead and sell uh, two trailer loads. That will bring us down to just below 300, and the reproduction rate still should be at 300. Uh, yeah, 300. Uh, half an hour. I need to stay in that menu because you need to get to the truck. Uh, the new Volvo truck. We'll grab the trailer along with us. Head on over into the pigs, the hog barn area. But I'm going to do a drive-by past the bakery because I'm pretty sure the bakery is full. I'm pretty sure the uh, sugar factory is full of pallets. Uh, the Pepsi factory might even be full of pallets as well. Is that full of pallets? How many can that hold? No, we're good. How about the water? Are we good on water? Yeah, okay. Still got water in it, so I still go ahead and make a uh, Pepsi. There we go. The lag cleared up. Good to go. 
I think. Uh, let's go past uh, the bread factory, or our bakery. Got to be careful not to grab all the ones I've already taken off. Let's go ahead and let me turn the speed down to times one. That way they don't spawn as quick. Grab all those. And one just spawned there. And I picked it up anyways, that's fine. Alright, uh, let me go ahead and we'll pile these over where the sugar pallets were earlier. Yeah, I keep saying I'm going to put down like a Terramac over here or something to just keep putting these things down. One day. Uh, no, I didn't want to unload it. I wanted to do this. There we go. And now we'll go ahead and load up all the sugar pallets. That way I can start making some more sugar. I probably, next time I bring a load of sugar beet over, I probably need to load up the sugar factory and bring some wheat over to the bakery as well. And let's go ahead and just we'll unload these over here. It's not a full trailer, but good enough. Actually, let's not get too close. Let's turn that off and then dispose of those there. Leave that there. Yeah, Helper H has nearly a full grain tank. Yeah, we know. I, I, I've seen that probably 20 times already. I got 20 more loads to go. So the animal trailer is next after I clean out the pig's mess. Um, just because, well, the pigs make a mess. Actually, that can probably stay there for now. I, I'm not actually going through the silo. Yeah, this trailer has been worth it. From the amount of pigs I've been transporting, this trailer probably has paid for itself in saving me on transportation fees. And this is where the fun process begins. Man, I wish it was like you can just say, load this many. But I'm going to sit here and click 84 times, and then I'm going to go down to livestock market, click 84 times, and then do it another time. Our second trailer load of hogs slash pigs going to the livestock market. Next time I sell some, I may have to bring some to our meat processing plant. Um, I think the last time I looked, we were just over 400 liters of meat to process, which sounds kind of weird because then I get like thousands and thousands of liters of processed meat. Um, yeah, anywho, uh, I need to bring some there next time. The good thing is about when I sell them, I can see how many more I got to sell. So <laughs> I got 10 more as of now. And there we go right there and confirm. Another 84 grand. So that brings us up to start the morning at $227,000. But uh, as I saw the market pricing for the wool, cotton, eggs, and all that stuff, I don't think today, since all the prices are dropping, we'll be selling any of that. So I may not be uh, making as much money today as I did yesterday, which is fine, because that product is all sitting there. We're just have to wait for those prices to go back up again. But uh, yeah, next time we'll be definitely harvesting the sunflowers in the upper plateau and flopping those fields over little by little as we continue doing the sugar beet harvest in field number 35. I think the John Deere is going to be busy down here on the east side doing some weeding in our three fields of barley that we have. Yeah, the next time I bring the uh, truck over, I did stop the root crop harvester now. It was full and uh, the worker was sitting there, so I kind of fired the worker for now. I said, yeah, I'm going to probably do maybe some of that in between episodes, kind of like I did this time, but maybe a lot more. Maybe get that contract done. But when that contract's done, though, we'll get 100 grand plus all the extra sugar beet. But like I said, I need to come over here and top off the, our sugar factory top off our bakery to make more bread 
and who knows there was a great demand to this morning uh unfortunately it was on something that we just sold last night it happens uh but maybe we'll get lucky during the rest of the day and we'll get a crop that we are or a product that we have plenty of um let me go park this actually let me grab the water tanker and i probably should go to the pepsi factory i know the drain of I, I, I keep blaming the Pepsi factory, but I think it's just a combination of all the factories I have down here. I'm pretty sure if, if I had just a Pepsi factory, it wouldn't be a big of a deal, but I always say the Pepsi factory because that's what we're driving past when the lag really hits. But let's go top off our water tanker at the Pepsi factory. I could actually use a Pepsi right about now, uh, but... This late at night, if I had a Pepsi, I'd probably be up all night long anyways. Oh, yep, the lag is this. Whew. At least I'm able to steer. Before, uh, when I almost drove into the river, I was unable, almost unable to steer. Let's make sure that this is topped off here. And I believe we're maxed out. I'll try to leave the tanker here. Hopefully I can remember where it is. Yeah, I got plenty of room for a lot more Pepsi. I think the best price we saw for Pepsi was $1,400, but after I put the factory down, I don't think I've seen it that close yet since. Uh, so our reproduction rate on the pigs. Uh, yep, still at 30 minutes. We're fine. We're down to 290, so that's going to be a while before they're ready. Uh, yeah, let me just double check. I, did I check the cotton? Yeah, I must have. And the wool. The wool price is pretty, pretty even, I would say. How much wool do we have here? Uh, no, that's, that's our little farm stand. Uh, so we got like, um, 10, 20, 30, 40, uh, 70. Um, hmm, well, we might sell some of the wool today. That price is not that bad. Maybe we'll do that at the beginning of the next episode before we harvest. I mean, 1110 is pretty darn good. I mean, I got plenty of room here for a lot more pallets. I mean, I couldn't get greedy and wait for a great demand. But, uh, yeah, we need to clean out these chickens. I need to bring over another egg pallet box. Uh, I got three more spares so these boxes have room to go into. But, uh, yeah, we'll be working the upper plateau next episode. I'm tired of working down the lower plateau. Although, I, like I said, I'm going to try to maybe take care of the root crop progress in between episodes. That's why I leave this time speed at one so I can just get, get that done. That'll probably take me another... Oh, I hate to say like another hour, hour and a half or so. But that's what we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time right here in the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.